massive bullish candle in gold was seen last week. We have discussed in our monthly review and the weekly review last week that gold prices are set to trade higher because see it is starting to rise, body size is increasing. You can just watch the last update for details and see what beautifully gold has achieved. It has gone close to 2200 levels. Now what to expect from gold in the coming week? Is it going to deliver another strong bullish candle from or the highs are done and we can look forward to retracement here. What is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading gold in the coming week? We will see with the help of charts and indicators towards the end of this update. I will be sharing the trading levels and strategy watched. Do subscribe and press the bell icon in order to stay tuned with the twice a day updates for gold. First, I share with the Asia and Europe session, next with the US session and the news events. So do watch both the updates. It sets the trading direction for the day. Then subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications. Do like, share and comment. It is a great motivation to me to deliver twice a day updates and the weekly reviews as well. Do subscribe to the channel memberships here on YouTube and support the effort. And also you can join the free telegram channel for live updates. Now look at the gold on the four hour. First of all, you can look at this red line, which is coming in from the daily charts. And I had mentioned that coming in from the support zone, we may see gold hitting the top of the channel at 2185 levels. It has in fact breached beyond 2185. It is hit 2195 before reverse. Now, one must notice on the four hour charts, it is still staying in this bullish channel. Thus only bearishness in the coming week can be expected now 2160 and 2145 this is the zone which is going to provide maximum support for gold in the coming week any drop below this zone is where we can say now the prices are trying to reverse and then i will look forward to 21 20 levels as the next strongest support so below 2140 21 20 and 2114 are the two support levels which are going to play a major role if at all gold tries to reverse from here you need to watch out how it behaves at around 2160 levels and then below 2140 below that we can look forward to a good drop now see it is still staying bullish not showing any signs of reverse moving averages are divergent and are staying bullish a stock elastic if you look at it has dropped slightly but the MACD. If you look at MACD, again I am saying MACD has hit an elevated levels. It needs to retrace. Only thing is how long it can sustain before dropping. So this is something you should watch out for. If it can sustain for a few candles or more, possibly we can see further highs before it looks over to retracing. Historically, plus 20 levels are highly overbought levels for gold on the 4 hour charts. Thus, a little retracement has to be there and that is why I say we may see or gold may retrace towards 2160-2140 zone in the coming week. Possibility is there. The stock is extremely, RSI is extremely overbought as well and this has extended a bit such that. So, that is also one indication that little retracement cannot be denied. Coming to daily charts. Now, look at daily charts. See, this is where it has hit the bottom and now vertically it has hit the highs. I have mentioned in my reviews, I have drawn, see this is the retracement and a breakout is going to be stronger. See this is what the beauty of the analysis is. I have mentioned, see this is the rise, this is the flag formation and a breakout is going to be stronger. Just watch my preceding update for last week. And see what a beautiful rise we have seen. Moving averages are diverging and are staying bullish. Now look, the support levels have now shifted to 2080 and 2050. This is the zone from where this breakout is seen. This is the support levels 2050 and then this 2080 level. So these two levels are going to play a major role. Now look at the daily charts, consistently higher lows, higher highs are delivered. It is closed well within the channel here. It tried to breathe. Now, if you notice this channel as well, you will find 2160 as the bottom of the channel, which should not be breached. If it breaches below 2160, then only we can say further bearishness and the bearishness can be sharp because see, once it starts to form the other side of the castle, it is going to be sharp as well, where it can retrace strong. Right now, it is not showing any such sign of a complete reversal. Thus, we need to wait 
for it to confirm the drop below 2160. Now look at the divergence of the price from the moving average. What it can try to do? It can try to retrace slowly, wait for the moving averages to climb up, come towards 21, 20, 21, 40 zone so that the entire week might remain muted, take the support and bounce back. Look at the stock stochastic. This is extremely overbought. The MACD is divergent. The MACD is bullish looking upwards and too much of divergence calls for it to convert. We have seen this on MACD as well. I have told you that the rise here is going to be strong. If you look at the pattern here on MACD, see, uh, it waits for the red line to climb up. So next couple of days, possibly first two to three days, the, the movement can be muted. It will wait for the red line to climb up. And from there, the crossover may be seen, which can lead to slightly lower prices. RSI has come to extremely overbought levels on the daily charts as well. Coming to week, look at weekly charts. What has happened? Rise retracement rise and retracement it has retraced taken the support from the 20 period and is starting to rise. now if you look at the pattern increasing body size certainly yes increasing bullishness first candle closing outside bullinger bands yes and this is the time when the bullinger bands have started to expand now bullinger bands are starting to expand suggests that it can continue to deliver closing outside bullinger bands possibility Next is what it has done. See, preceding candle also left a little wick on the upside. This candle has also left a little wick on the upside. And this is also leaving a room for it to rise on the up. If you look at the weekly charts, uh, in the coming week, again, we can buy at 2184. But then you need to be cautious and careful. Yes, the highs from the last week close to 2195. And first, 2205. This $10 zone is going to remain a critical resistance for gold in the coming week. Thus, you should be cautious of this. Beyond 2205, I will look forward to 2215. Now, this complete $20 of move between 2195 and 2215. This is going to be a critical resistance zone for gold. Any move beyond 2215, one should stay bullish. One can look forward to 2230 levels as the next targets and then 2248 will be seen. So, yes, if it breaks past by 2215, the bullishness will certainly increase and then you can look forward to higher price. In general, what happens? See, a smaller body, bigger body and the follow-up candle generally delivers. If it continues to stay bullish, it can deliver similar size of candle. Now, similar size of candle means almost a move of, you can say, 2020 to 2080, $60. And if it starts to deliver similar size of candle, we can look forward to 2245, 2250 zone, which is going to be the highs of the next. So those looking for an answer are the highs for gold done for gold. Potentially, we cannot say as of now, yes, there can be bullishness in the coming week as well. If you look at the stock stochastic, this has entered into overbought zone. MACD, now see MACD has started to diverge. It has delivered first bullish candle from here. Also, if you look at MACD, I have shared several times first wave and the second wave is coming up. It can lead to higher highs, which suggests that the prices still has lot much of a scope to move on the upside. RSI is rising. It has come to overbought levels as well. Coming to month on the monthly charts, remember the rise, the retracement. This is a nice flag formation. Then it has started to rise here, slight retracement. And this is the second leg of the run here. Now it is willing to achieve the highs here of this channel. And where are the highs of the channel? Let me draw it again for you. It is almost close to 22 22 50 zone now next point here on the monthly charts is see this is the first candle after the reversal sign now again for it to even reverse in the coming month it has to achieve higher highs before reversing so again this is a potential answer that yes there is still bullishness left in gold do not treat this as bearish if you look at a stochastic, it is starting to look upwards. Look at MACD. 
Magni, after see, showing series of bearish candles, it is now starting to diverge. And I have mentioned in multiple reviews that we have a lot much of bullishness left in gold and it is retracing here. Stochastic and RSI both are rising. Now, we have seen the charts and indicators. Considering this, let me give you the trading levels and strategy for the coming week. Before I give you the trading levels and strategy, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can enroll in my 30th mentorship batch starting first week of April. In the mentorship batch, we give you the key and the concepts which can help you trade profitably, which can help you identify profitable trades. And we also teach the key trade setups for you to trade easily. You can also be a part of my signals channel if you want to trade only as per the signals. For any of your queries related to the mentorship batch or the signals channel, you can write an email or you can ping me on telegram. The contact details are shared in the channel and video description and many of you have asked me to recommend a trustworthy safe broker with easier transfers and withdrawal process and which is a regulated broker with presence across the globe and which offers a swap free account with lowest spreads. You can find the recommended broker link in the channel and video description. Now let's talk about the levels. See, I will recommend you to buy here in the coming week at 2184 levels. Beyond 2184, we can look forward to 2191, 2196. Now see, nearby resistance is here and beyond this, we will look forward to 2204.5. Now once it stays above this zone, we can say slight increase in bullishness can be expected. I will be looking forward to 22.15. Staying above 22.15 is where more bullish momentum will prevail and then 22.30 levels will be the next targets. Beyond this, we can look forward to 22.47.5. I think for the coming week, this zone I, is going to remain critical. Even if it tries to stay bullish, I do not see it breaking beyond these levels. Yes. I, Whatever bullishness it shows, I do not see gold breaking beyond these levels. For sure, that is what is my expectation. Beyond this, though the targets on the upside are going to be towards 2268 and then 2290 levels. But let's wait. I, I do not see gold breaking beyond these levels. Now, on the down, you can sell here somewhere between 2171.5 to 2178 zone this is going to be the first support zone below this 2164 the next support zone then 2156 the third support zone now, on the downside the supports are going to be stronger and below this we can look forward to 2145 and now if it breaks below 2145 40 zone we can look forward to a drop towards 2125. Now, below 2125 is where the bears are waiting, and then you can look forward to 2105 levels. Now, chances for a complete reversal and a drop towards 2105 is less, but yes, these are markets when it starts to retrace, when it starts to book profits, it always tries to do that on a stronger note. Thus, we have to be careful specifically first between this zone that is 2140 to 2160 and then we can look forward to a good drop there. Be careful as long as again I am saying there are intermittent supports as well in between 2105, 2125, 2145 there are intermittent supports I am just highlighting the major support levels in between 2145 you can also find 2135 as a good support thus that I will share in the daily charts, yes, because microscopic support levels are going to create a destroy every day. But yes, these are going to be the stronger support levels on the downside. Thus, you need to be careful as and long it stays about 2080 levels and 2105 levels. Do not treat gold as bearish for the month. Again, I am saying as long as gold stays about 2080, 2105 levels, do not treat gold as bearish for the month. It can bounce back strongly. The drop is an opportunity for you to stay bullish. That is what I will say, but 
अगेन यू नीड टू बी ट्रेडिंग विद कॉशन टेक योर पोजिशन अकॉर्डिंगली लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट ज्वाइन माई मेंटरशिप बैच एंड सिग्नल्स चैनल सी यू अगेन विद एवरी डे अपडेट्स ट्वाइस डे अपडेट्स डू सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन थैंक यू हैव ए ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग वीक एंड हैप्पी वीकेंड